Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Okay, in between the episodes, um, I was kind of, uh, thinking about this, and, uh, the, uh, Norsemen are really making me nervous. Um, so what I'm actually going to do first is improve, uh, let's see, is the king here? Yeah. Let's actually, uh, um... Send him over here. See what we can do about improving some diplomatic relations. Yeah, I'm getting a minus 29 for being an infidel. Not good. I'd probably send him a gift. 73 gold? Need to like me a hell of a lot more? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Who is king here? It's minus 15. What about, um... King Ivar. Oh, I'm not a... I am not overcoming that one. He is zealous. I am definitely not overcoming that one. It's only minus 15, though. Let's see if, um... 56? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Alright, so now, hopefully, the only one that we'd have to worry about is up there, and I don't know that he's going to come down here. Although, he did go over there. <laughs> Let's see their relative strengths, actually. Right now, he can bring up 1,600. He can bring up, oh, 4,800. That's not good. How many can you bring up? Nine thousand. That's, yeah. He is the one that I need to worry, I really need to worry about, I think. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Um, fortunately, that really ate into my uh, money. But I'm actually kind of thinking, um, yeah, I was going to get a, a buy an indulgence, but that was going to be expensive. And so I think I'll just let my piety roll in. Um, I will let, uh, um, I think I'll let the, uh, uh um, the title of uh, Kingdom of Wales go for a little while. Um, I think I need to spend my money on trying to build up my uh, troop counts. My liege, since I arrived in Gwyneth, there has never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed here. Under our guidance, I believe fame and fortune awaits them. Let us hope, hope so. So I gain uh, levy reinforcement rate plus 50%. Good. So let's see. Um... There is a lot of stuff that I need to build here. It would give me fort level, plus 80 light infantry, and plus 10 uh, um, archers. I think I will go for that. Okay. It's going to be expensive, but uh, worthwhile. Stuart Gruffin probably did not think I'd notice a few coins here and there were, went missing, but the steady disappearance made me suspicious. Might it be that the gold is disappearing into Gruffin's greedy fingers? Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of gold. So if I said I don't care, 80% chance of no effect, or 10% chance of slothful, 10% chance of arbitrary. I think I already have slothful. 
Arbitrary would be bad, but uh, let's, let's just go ahead and uh, question him. Griffiths declared that he was innocent. Further investigation revealed that the cook, responsible for the purchase of foodstuff, had forgotten to account for the extra eggs he had bought during the last month. Now I know I can trust Stuart Griffith. Hey, I gained five prestige. Excellent. Okay. Wonder if I can uh, talk to him about uh, arranging a betrothal. Hmm. Let's see. How old are you? You're five. So ideally someone younger. There aren't too many. I thought there were more listed there. Do you have any kids? You do have kids. My liege, my mission in Jorvik has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of King Halfdan Whiteshirt, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends you his regards. Perfect! His opinion changes by 40. Excellent. Will you say yes to that? A daughter was born to a noon and Ilud named Marared. Um, yeah, let's go with that. I don't think the uh, alliance kicks in until they actually marry, so that's quite a ways away, but uh, the children would then have a uh, claim on uh, the Kingdom of uh, Wessex. So he is currently at uh, the Great King Ald the First. Peace be with you. I have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Ald and Wulflave. Wulflave. Okay, he is currently. Uh, Truce with Prince Hugh of Scotland and attacking Chief uh, Wislaw of Diamond in Sy Skylander Conquest of Diamond. And a son was born to Eusti and Melisent named Tudual. Okay. Where is. Uh, is that over there? Nope. Kind of curious where they're attacking. Ah, Diamond, down here. Ah, he's a Slavic. Okay. Take a look at the religions and see what's, uh... Oh, yeah, it's quite a bit of Slavic. Uh, I believe this means it's a holy site to, uh... To the Slavs? Not positive. I know that some of the white ones, uh, like in a la in later games, Kent is a, a holy site for Catholics. Hmm. I guess it changes over time because uh, I don't see many over there, and they're slowly trying to change everything Norse. Aldensian uh, heresy has appeared there. I don't think that the uh, <laughs> Norse cared much about that, but okay. I'm not sure what's... Uh... Let's see what, what these people are. Oh, they're Catholic. Oh, uh, Norse Pagan, okay.
Let's see about culture. Oh. I've already changed that one to Norse. That's still Welsh. I'm not sure what that is changing. The son was born to King Ald. And let's see, what could we name him? I already got Gwydion. I already have Ald. Hmm. Yeah, let's give him a give him another good Welsh name. Okay. So now that I've blown my money, I'm not going to be uh, getting this title anytime soon, and I can't take on uh, Jyland uh, for this territory. Now, I could go to a Holy War, but yeah, that would be equally as bad. So I could go for a Holy War for those. Those, I could call in other um, uh, Catholics, but... Not sure how well that would work out. How about you? 3,600. Could bring you in, maybe. Uh, we don't have the alliance yet, though, so that's... I don't know. And I don't know how much any of these guys would be willing to uh, come to the Holy War. And they definitely don't have the... Uh, ooh. King of Scotland got uh, Tyrconnell. They definitely do not have the uh, uh, troop counts to do much, so. Definitely need to build up my soldiers. I think I may end up doing that. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, get enough money to become King of Wales, but I am also uh, 36 years old. Not too likely to die anytime soon. You know, fingers crossed. Um, but we'll see. Uh, it's hard to say. Did any of you get genius? You're ill. That's not good. Nope. No geniuses. That's disappointing. <sighs> Do you have any children? You have children. Uh, they must be twins. Excellent. He really likes me now. I suppose I could try working on... Um... So let's see. Sent gift, plus 65. Improved relations, plus 80. But that's only going to last for a little while. Uh, a couple of years. I could try uh, sending him up here to this guy. He's 60, though, and he's probably not going to live very long. It is really hard to overcome that zealous uh, trait, though. How about down here? How do you guys like me? 16. Petty Kingdom of uh, Cornwall. Cornwall and uh, Devon. Hmm. All right. Well, ah, I lost my. Uh, can't press my claim anymore because it's now a dilly. That's probably what. Well, no, it shouldn't have made a difference. Eh, maybe it did. I don't know. And I am now known as the Wise. Excellent. King Ald the First, the Wise of Gwyneth. <laughs> they renamed this county. Now, oh, let's see. Actually... Hmm... 
Where? Oh, looks like they're. Uh, Yep. They're going after the, uh, the Scots there. Alright, let's see. Where is this guy located? Really? He's on the Isle of Man? Oh, he's leading troops. There. Okay. I don't know where his court is. Uh, Gowrie. Okay. Oh, duh. Of course, I could always look for the, uh, stupid badge. Alright, let's, uh... Send him up there to improve relations with him. Let's see how that goes. Okay, up to... Oops. Let's put it back on, uh... Move forward. What can we, uh... Educated child. That's important. Okay. Um. Kind of want to educate her with him, but that would make her a Breton. Or it could make her a Breton. Um. I want to save myself for my two sons. Or two of my sons, I suppose I should say. Don't really want to have anyone who is cruel educate her. I do like his content stat. Eh, we'll do it. That's okay if she becomes a Breton. I might transfer her, uh... Oh. There we go. Educate child. Moi, of course. There we go. And militia training ground has been uh, built in Aberfrau. Good. Very good. What could I build here? I don't have a whole lot of money for much other than castle fortifications. I would really like to get the longbow range. It's really expensive, and I need castle walls one. Let's take a look at our technology. Alright, so I need to go up to improved keeps two. That's kind of crappy. Could increase construction, that would make things cheaper. But it's almost filled anyway. Could get better light infantry, which would uh, increase their attack and defense power, and it would inc ooh, it would increase archers too. Hmm. But it is spreading, so it might be better to save my money, save my points. My leash, my mission in Gowry has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of King Ivar the Boneless, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. And he sends you his regards. Excellent! You are awesome. Okay, now it's only down to negative 17. Yay! Fantastic. Okay. Now we're politicking. She is independent. He is independent. Oh no. Out of prison now. I was about to say he's in prison, but nope, he got out. 
independent. Independent, okay. Now, because he's Norse, I could always, uh... No, I don't? Huh. To the most illustrious King All the First, the good burghers of uh, Denby are barely able to pay their taxes. Our coffers are empty. I humbly ask that you lower the taxes for your cities. Uh, so this mayor is asking me to lower taxes. Do minimal city taxes. What do we have right now? We've got normal. Don't we? What are the, uh, city taxation. Normal. Yeah, I really don't want to take that down to minimum. I really don't. I could bribe him. That's based on my high stewardship. Or flatter and soothe him, which is based on uh, my high diplomacy. That would cost me nothing. I am doing that. Yes. Good times. The advantage of a high diplomacy. Mm, 20. Yeah, I definitely don't want to uh, um, decrease my city taxes. I want my money. Money is good. I would not mind if my guy got me a tithe either. Dragon bows of longships have been sighted off the coast of Gwent as Vikings under the fierce heathen Ragnar of Metalpod begin to pillage and loot the country. The county. Alrighty. Well then. Alright, everyone. Two arms. I need to get these people to like me better, too. Maybe once he's done up there, I can send him down. Uh, let's see. Short reign, small feudal tax, title claimant, desires Duchy of Dehubarth, Liege is slothful. Uh, can't really do a whole lot about a lot of those things. He is ruthless. Church vassal pinion minus two, but marshal plus two. He wants to become chancellor. Well, yeah, with your uh, diplomacy of three, that's that's not happening. You really, really hate me. Uh, he's envious, uh, diligent versus slothful, liege is slothful, desires a duchy of Dehubarth, title claimant, small feudal tax, short reign. Yeah. Actually, it's uh, what a good question. What? Oh. Oh ho! Hey, and he died. Died a natural death at the age of twenty-nine. And Countess Heleth of Gwent. How old are you? You are seven. Hmm. You are content and craven. Oh, content is great. Content is plus 50. Oh, so good. You know what? Arrange betrothal. Even though you are young. Yes. Gwydion. Oh, why won't you accept my offer? Gwydion is too young. Damn it. Alright, do I have anyone else? I can't marry my heir. Uh, desires a better alliance. Damn it. I don't think I have anyone. Nope. Alright, well. That's unfortunate. Why did I 
get another one of these. And only over here. I don't know. Oh, well. It's carrying loot. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, you know what? Screw you guys. You can join in later. I'm surprised you haven't started running yet. Now you're running. 17. Now nope, I'm going to miss him. I got 9 gold. I don't think it comes out of my account, though. Although my monthly balance is pretty low. Oh. So that's what you're doing. Oh, great. Two of them. Well, at least he's immediately running back into the, uh, into the boat. Come on. <laughs> Alright, December 16th. He'll be back on the boat. You guys, I will send you there. Probably going to start running. Yep. Let's see. 27th. 26th. Oh, I'm going to catch him. Yes. Yes. Come on. Get him. Get him. Yes. Ha ha ha. Of course, my vassal runes have been... My levies have been raised too long. Screw you guys. Oh, hey, good. Jesus, a lot of Vikings. Luckily, uh, one of the county levies, uh, their own levies, they, they have their own levies as well as uh, um, uh, levies that they give to me. Uh, and they are defending. There we go. I will join in. Just minus one opinion, though, so that's fine. There we go. High Faith uh, Dyfed died in battle. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Well, let's uh, arrange a marriage for you. Actually, it's uh, arrange a marriage this way. Matrilineal. Any non-Welsh? Eh, he's too young. All right, so one of these uh, uh, lowborns would probably be good. Uh, 47, 47, 43, 50. You are not going to be living very long anyway, so let's do that. Not sure if there are any more. Uh, are you going, going to Land's End? Okay, I can I can uh, disband you then. There we go. Okay. Unfortunately, I do really need to get these guys to like me more so that I can get uh, um, more levies from them. 29. She does like me a lot, though, actually. That's very good. What could I do about you? Hmm. And I'm definitely not reducing the feudal tax. Um, short reign will take care, will go away eventually. Title claimant I can't do anything about. Yeah. 
I had to break up a fight between my son Ald and another child today. Ald's heart is filled with envy. That's not good. Other children are just selfish. Ald would gain the trait of envious. Do not want that. Beat some respect into him. 40% chance of Ald losing the trait of envious. Talk to him about kindness. 50% chance of gaining kind? Oh yeah. Damn it. Give me another opportunity for that. At least he didn't gain uh, um, envious. And we had another uh, child born to uh, Griffith. Good. More babies is always good. And you, how are you? How, what can I do about you? I could bribe you. I could always bribe you. Uh, I'll wait until I really need it. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at our other vassals. Okay. Yeah, he is the only one that does not like me. I believe the, the 2.1 in red means that that's what they would pay me, but because they don't like me, he's not paying me any. Uh, whereas I'm getting, um, let's see, from her, I'm only getting 1.6. That's kind of disappointing. Let's see. Alright, the bishop... Uh, Okay, this this bishop here, Run, his opinion of the Pope is 59, his opinion of me is 61, so he sends his tax to me. Whereas these two guys, um, they like the Pope more than me, so they're sending their money to the Pope. I don't like that. I'm getting quite a lot from these two mayors. That's pretty nice. Need to figure out what's uh, up with this, though. Seems like it should be more. Anyway, uh, let's see. I could... Uh, send, I could award an honorary title. That would take it up a little bit, but I'd still have to... Uh, um, Still have to uh, give him more, uh, give him a bribe, because I cannot give him any other titles. So we made him cupbearer. Sixty gold. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, if we go to uh, laws, we can change it to uh, primogeniture. The eldest child of the ruler inherits all titles. Your successor will like the law, but other members of your dynasty will slightly disapprove. Petty Kingdom of Gwyneth, succession by primogeniture. Okay. And I could also institute max feudal levies. Again, feudal vassals wouldn't like me all that much, but... I think we'll do that. Okay. It's a fair number of opponents there, but uh, they might start uh, um, approving it. I might have to give out some more bribes and stuff like that, which I don't have a whole lot of money, but we'll see. Um, it'll take a while before that uh, really becomes an issue. Let's go until uh, um, April. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and end the video here. We'll pick it up in the next one as uh, we continue to uh, um, build up their opinions, uh, alter the laws to better benefit me, of course, and uh, just keep these guys from attacking me. Uh, I will be honest, at the beginning of this episode, I had started, a, uh, I had actually scrapped an episode prior when they basically all attacked me, and, and I got steamrolled in, in a 
very short amount of time. So I actually reloaded and tried it again. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to keep this o open. Oh well. All right. Uh, we will uh, we'll pick it up in the next episode. See you then. <laughs>